All right, uh, this is Laura Kraut. Uh, she's an Olympic gold medalist and a member of the U.S. Uh, show jumping team uh, getting ready for the Winter Festival here at Wellington. Tell us about what is special about uh, the Winter Equestrian Festival. Well, for me, what's special is it's an opportunity to compete at the one of the premier show jumping festivals in the world and also get to live at home and be a normal person, not have to fly on an airplane or pack a suitcase. So um, I've got a string of about 30 horses here and lots of clients and students, and I get to uh, sh compete during the day and, and go into my own bed at night. <laughs> and, and where does the, the, this festival fit into the overall world of equestrian? How would you, how would you rank it? Well, uh, I would say it ranks up with probably the best in the world. Uh, certainly in the United States, it is the premier place. But uh, you know, there's great uh, places all over the world, Aachen, Germany, and Spruce Meadows, Canada, but, and I would say it's right on par with that. And this kind of gets the season underway, uh, and uh, talk about some of the com competition. Well, what's the level of, uh, of riders we'll see here in the next 12 weeks? Well, uh, in my sport, in show jumping, you're going to see the top level. You're going to see uh, riders from around the world, Rodrigo Pessoa, Nick Skelton, um, among many others, uh, famous legends, and then the best this country has to offer. I think a lot of the riders will be coming from California towards the end for the big money, and uh, yeah, it's the best. You'll, it's the best of the best here. And what's uh, what event are you particularly looking forward to during the uh, festival? Well, for sure, I'm looking towards the half million dollar FTI Grand Prix at the end. Um, but there's a lot of great classes leading up to it. I think there's big prize money. Um, I've got a good good horse that uh, hopefully I can go win some of it. And uh, yeah, but the half million dollar class is the big deal. One of the interesting events is the Battle of the Sexes. Is uh, is uh, generated some uh, some fun and attention. Uh, talk a little bit about that event and uh, your thoughts on that. Well, that's a lot of fun. The Battle of the Sexes. I um, when did I do? I did it two years ago and we won, so it was really fun. Um, yeah, it's just a it's a unique opportunity where the men go against the women. Normally, we're competing side by side, and uh, it's a fun night for us, really. Uh, and I think it's great for the spectators. There's tons of people out. Everyone's screaming, yelling. And it, it's just a lot of fun. I think it's. It's a, it's a must attend for people who enjoy watching the sport.